टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू इंस्पेक्ट वन इलेक्ट्रिकल डीबी बाय दिस थर्मल कैमरा सो दिस इज ए फ्लिर कैमेरा द मॉडल नंबर इज टी जी वन सिक्स फाइव यूजली वी डू यूज दिस काइंड ऑफ कैमेरा टू इंस्पेक्ट द इलेक्ट्रिकल पैनल लाइक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बोर्ड एंड सब डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन बोर्ड एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल मोटर एज वेल एम सी सी पैनल ऑल्सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू द इंस्पेक्शन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल डी बी और एम सी सी पैनल बाय दिस कैमेरा सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड यूज ऑफ दिस कैमेरा एंड हो डू यू नीड दिस कैमेरा टू डू द इंस्पेक्शन वेल सो वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन थर्मल कैमेरा एंड नॉर्मल कैमेरा दिस थर्मल कैमेरा कैन टेक द थर्मल इमेज एंड नॉर्मल कैमेरा कैन टेक द नॉर्मल इमेज द डिफरेंस जस्ट आई वु लाइक टू टेल यू वन थिंग सपोज देर आर टू मोबाइल इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू इफ आई विल आस्क हुईच मोबाइल इज हटर यू कैन नॉट सेम बिकॉज विदाउट टचिंग यू विल नॉट गेट टू नो हुईच मोबाइल इज हटर दैट सो ए वी हैव थर्मल कैमेरा ओके सो नॉर्मल कैमेरा ऑल्सो विल गेट टू नॉट विल नॉट गेट टू नो हुईच मोबाइल इज हटर वेल सो इवन यू कैन नॉट टेल मी हुईच मोबाइल इज हट then if i use this camera so check carefully okay so i am using this camera see uh, see these are the camera okay so you can see the right side mobile is you know brightness is you know has the highest brightness if we compare with left one so that means without touching the mobile i can say my right side mobile is hotter than the left side mobile so that is the use of the camera without touching the object you will get to know which one is hotter okay so in the electrical panel also the live panel we cannot touch without touching we can do the maintenance then the same camera we are going to use in the electrical db so first of all just i will tell you a very short briefing about this camera how to use so this is the camera just by switching uh, press the long press of the on button your camera will be on then you have to do some setting in this camera like uh, you have to set the first one is make sure there should be memory card second one is color palette uh, so as per your requirement you can adjust the color palette okay so here see you can adjust the color palette so make sure the brightest material like metal the color palette should be highest and the light material uh, the uh, brightness should be, the palette should be lowest so this is the emissivity so emissivity should be 0.95 and uh, it is depend upon the black body material should be one and another material should be 0.90 and 91 reflection material should be low then this is the uh, hot spot okay so you can on and off the hot spot see so now i hot so if i'll switch uh, on we use the camera there should be a red colored hot spot line that this is the temperature so you can choose if you need celsius or fahrenheit then this is the um, um, the hot spot uh, uh the uh, square area then this is the distance and this is the date and this is uh, about the details of the image okay so this is about the camera so make sure the camera should be proper set uh, the ambient temperature everything and the camera should be calibrated before use so now we are going to check the electrical dv by this camera first there is an electrical panel we are going to inspect this panel by this thermal camera in front of us as we discussed uh, we have a clear thermal camera we are going to inspect this panel before going to do the test just you have to make sure something and you have to aware about some international standard just i like to tell you there are some standard you need to follow the severity of criteria should be followed as per neta neta means international electrical testing association and according to neta if there is a temperature differences between 1 to 3 that means it is a minor then uh, intermediate should be 4 to 15 and if the temperature rises higher than 15 degree celsius that means this is a critical issue you need to be take the action action is possible and uh, the report should be prepared as per iso 18 4041.7 and the thermographer should be qualified at least he should have a l1 level 1 thermographer license which should be refer the international uh, standard iso 18436-7 and the data should be collected according to iso 18434-1 well so these are some international standard you should be kept in your mind 
uh, now we are going to check this electrical balance so this is actually one motor controlling center which connected with our water transfer pump now we are going to check it so you should take the personal protective equipment and all of the safety measures before conduct the inspection and make sure the panels should be in on condition and there should be minimum 60% of the load in the electrical panel okay so because without load you are not able to do the inspection then you have to make sure what actually you are going to uh, check as you see there are some electrical uh, terminal then we have one isolator then there are some elcb breaker relay and transformer uh, and contactors now we are going to do the inspection, uh, inspection so let me on my clear camera okay so the process is very simple just you have to do the long press of the on button then it should be initiating and calibrating the camera automatically so in front of us you can see the camera is on uh, make sure there should be no reflection from the background reflection because you know the the background of this panel is shiny materials aluminium that's why there is a high chance for the reflection that's why avoid to uh, stand in front of the panel then uh, at least you should maintain the distance one meter from the electrical panel because you know uh, the higher distance will not get you the proper data in the uh, in the camera so let's start just you have to switch on and as you uh, as we discussed you should set the camera parameter like ambition temperature emissivity and color palette then you have uh, now we are starting the inspection one by one okay so just we started the inspection okay so if there is any hot spot see uh, there is a hot spot we found okay so there is a hot spot near our overload relay so we should uh, note it down and why there is a temperature rise and hot spot found uh, actually we need to check why there is a hot spot it's a false or it is actually hot spot we have to concern about the temperature so is there any temperature differences no because the ambition temperature is 20 and the temperature is 21.7 degrees celsius so that means i think this is a false data so we need to ignore it then we will uh, uh, i think uh, see, this is the reflection from the aluminium background okay because as i told you this is a shiny materials so it's not actually uh, a problem then we will move to yes there is something high temperature okay so there is a high uh, rises of at least 5 to 6 degrees celsius because we said the ambition temperature 22 degrees celsius and uh, there is a temperature of 28 okay so let okay so you can see this is a transformer that's why there is a high rises of temperature it's not a big deal okay so it's a normal thing then one by one relay uh, these are the pla relay mm, no there is uh, nothing no there is no temperature rise there is no temperature rise okay so now we'll move to the connector so these are the connector uh, you can see here okay uh, there is something something 25 degrees celsius okay so i think yes we found one fault here there is a rises of 3 degrees celsius 4 degrees celsius in one of the cable okay so this R phase okay this R phase should be checked okay so why i think there is some loose connection we need to check we found one loose connection in the terminal then we need to check it out then uh, we'll move to the auxiliary control auxiliary no there is no hot spot there is no rise of temperature then there is one heater yes heater so this is a heating element now we are going to check yes there is another thing we found the heater is off condition we need to check why our heater is off okay yes so this is we discussed we found two faults in this panel first one is the r phase is rises of temperature due to loose contact we need to check it out because we need to check once we switch up the panel second thing we found our heater is in off condition so these things to be checked and there is nothing abnormal found in this instruction okay. 